How's it going, you guys? So I just finished a long day of hours and hours and hours of exercise. And I've been thinking a lot about the most important factors in regards to health and longevity. So essentially, the, the most important thing that you should be doing is learning about foods to avoid. Most importantly, all processed foods. That means processed meats, frozen dinners, uh, fast foods. You want to remove isolated sugar, which means, you know, white sugar, uh, brown sugar, organic sugar. Of course, fruit and honey are fine. You want to remove uh, artificial flavors, artificial colors, artificial sweeteners, or at least limit them as much as you possibly can. Remove preservatives from your diet. Um, and I'm talking the isolated uh, artificial mineral like sodium benzoate or um, sodium nitrate. You know, these things are very bad for you and they have been shown to be directly linked to cancer and heart disease. So you remove, you look at what you would need to remove, trans fats, all these other things, and you remove them. And then you focus your nutrition all around whole foods, including lots and lots of fresh fruit and vegetables, or frozen. But the base of your diet should be plants. It should be fruits and vegetables. And then from there, you can add nuts, seeds, legumes, and grains if your digestive system can tolerate it. At first, you're going to want to add these foods slowly because your body is probably not used to eating all the fiber and digesting these complex fibrous plant um, grains and whatnot. And it can cause digestive issues in the short term when you are transitioning to a higher fiber, more plant-based diet. But uh, that's only because most of your life you've been eating white flour, white rice, etc. And so your gut bacteria needs to start to shift over to a more healthier um, form so that it can digest these plants for you. And so gas bloating and undigested food um, can happen if you don't do this slowly. But base your diet on plants. Um, that's a plant-based diet, but also consume uh, high quality, healthy animal products. Now, if you're vegan, you're going to be triggered by that and you're going to disagree. But the science does not say to completely avoid animal products. The science says base your diet on plants, fruits and vegetables, and remove or avoid processed meats and limit your intake of saturated fats. Um, so as long as you're eating within reasonable amounts, you should be fine. There is a ratio of fats that your body needs, and it does include saturated fat. And a, a, a small or a moderate amount of cholesterol is fine and is actually beneficial. When people remove animal products completely from their diet, they oftentimes run into multiple problems over the course of a few years, usually in the long term, but a lot of times in the short term, you know, people who go vegan, no matter how perfect they think it is, um, they run into issues. And the science doesn't say you have to remove animal products to avoid disease. The science says remove certain types of products in general, you know, um, uh, hydrogenated oils, vegetable oils, um, these types of things limit your intake of dairy products, etc., and you should be fine. So base your diet on plants, but go ahead and eat high quality animal products like wild caught fish and um, grass fed organic meats, and even lean chicken. You know, if you don't have enough money for organic, you know, lean meats is gonna be your better alternative, or you could boil out the fat because um, the majority of the toxins that would be in animal products are usually going to be stored in the fat. 
So if you get the lean, the lean version, or if you boil the fat out, then the majority of uh, the toxins that you'd be wanting to avoid are going to be removed because you're choosing the leaner option. So yeah, but you would probably be better off if you choose pasture-raised animals, etc. So anyway, um, you want the more nutrition you get in your diet, the better, and the less toxic garbage you get in your diet, the better. Okay, you want to maximize nutrition and antioxidants the vitamins and minerals and maximize fuel. You want to be fueling yourself. You should feel energized by your diet. You should be able to sleep well and stress. Uh, your diet should help you relax, okay? The nutrition can support that. So if you're anything other than relaxed and energetic, then your diet probably is not, is not doing so well. So next you have herbs and supplements. Um, there's a lot of herbs that can help increase your short-term and long-term health, uh, including Panax ginseng in different forms, red, white ginseng, etc., Korean red ginseng. There's extracts, there's tincture form, um, there's certain types of mushroom like reishi, cordyceps, lion's mane. Um, there's a lot of these but I have many videos on these different things so you can check those out um, and they do make a significant difference you can fill them in the short term and the long term I feel like these are key things like holy basil and ashwagandha as well and of course limiting stress limiting stress is a really big one um, studies have shown that chronic diseases of all kinds are increased when under a lot of stress and longevity and happiness is of course increase if you lower and limit your stress. You want to read psychology because psychology is like fuel to your mind and it'll help you cope with idiots and it'll help you uh, get the most out of your your social relationships and your own individual life. Um, you want to have a career that you enjoy. You want to surround yourself with positive and motivational people. people. You want people that understand people that are reasonable and logical and rational, and people that make you feel good, people that you can laugh with, people you can have deep discussions with, okay? You also want to have a lot of sex. You want to, um, you want to enjoy your life and not just fo focus on quantity of, of years. You want, you want quality of life and quantity, okay? And you could find a middle ground. There's healthy alternatives to everything you know you can find healthy apple pies you can um you can you know drink red wine every now and then you know what i mean um you don't have to be super strict um if if your mindset on health and nutrition is causing rigidity you're less likely to live a long and healthy life um so you want to relax a little bit and just do the most important things. Do the best you can with what you got where you are, okay? There will be many, many more videos I'll make on this in the future. Uh, if you like this video, like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know which, one, which things you're doing to increase your longevity and increase your quality and quantity of life. Let me know some of your favorite health practices. And if I miss anything, go ahead and put it down in the comments. This has been Wolfgang Von Lattman Lazana with ChaliceofImmortality.com. Go ahead and follow me on Facebook if you haven't already. And I will talk to you soon.